Sometimes these are physical. Make it flashy, guys. Let's rock. <laughs> I miss, you know, doing his best to clean out Random Rock, also known as the Yeen for Fur Hire. Annie, though, well, we're not going to call it a comeback. It looks like Fuku on his team did manage to get back all their health, and just in time for Annie to go down. Making this, you know, spacing very carefully. But Fuku also spacing very carefully here. Both players are feeling each other out, not giving an inch. Until now. Unfortunately, Random Rock was not. Ah, oh, but there he goes. Parasol is down. This could be the opportunity that he was looking for to strike fear into the heart of Mega Missino. Unfortunately, Mega Missino's uh, defense is too good. Ooh, a happy birthday. Is he going to be able to take both of them down? Well, Robo Fortune does go down. Oh, good call out on the burst. Not missing an inch. And Random Rock! My god, from the edge of a cliff, manages to take that. Great work. Yeah, the burst bait was good. Oh, we definitely got to see a replay of that, folks. Yeah, you see, that was so smart, because that burst... If that did hit random, that could have been the death sentence of the game, but nope. It is now 1-0 in random rocks favor. This battle is all in the mind. Action. <laughs> Heard your voice in another stream? Of course, Moonshine, not a problem at all. Yeah, it must have been the man's stream, right? Uh, unfortunately, he was eating, so he, he didn't manage to make his first uh, match, but he is here fighting his next match, which is always great. Alright, it looks like Random Rock actually feeling a lot more confident this time around. Mega Missino did have, have him on the edge, but after that comeback, he's feeling it. Mega Missino trying to combo with Valentine into Oblivion. You, it always surprises me how little damage those combos actually do. And then here comes Robo Fortune doing just as much damage in like one super. <laughs> And I do want to say, guys, thank you so much for your patience when it comes to the technical stuff today. Flying solo is a lot harder than it looks. Speaking of hard, my goodness, Mega Missino is making it very hard for random to even get in. Mega Missino really likes the projectiles, but random rock, yeah, he knows how to get in. 
Robo Fortune goes down. Two characters left. Parasol on this Valentine. Random wrong. Taking full advantage of this. So far, not dropping that combo. The finisher might not be enough, but the second finisher definitely is. Catches Valentine once they come out in the air. Very smart. Valentine, though, has a few tricks up their sleeve. Mega Mistino is not out of this just yet. Oh, agreed there, Tender. And he's down! Random Rock takes game two. The score now 2 0. A beautiful photo finish there, to be honest. Just beautiful, beautiful scenery here. I don't think we're going to be able to see it before the next match, and we are not. Unfortunately, round three is here to stay. Mega Missino hasn't won a single match yet, but he needs to do this one if he wants to stay in winners. Well, still have the opportunity to stay in winners anyway. That's not going to be enough to take him down, but it is going to be enough to do a lot of damage. Alright, random. They're taking out uh, Philia in order to save some health there, or recover as much as they can. Both playing the projectile game. I know that Vincent was talking earlier about my uh, my time in New York City, and uh, yep, yep, this is this is just the this is just the J train. That J train over there, that's exactly what I used to take to work when I lived in Brooklyn. But enough about me. Back to the fight here, <laughs> and welcome back there, Pingy Wong. All right, Miss Fortune. Well, Robo Fortune, actually able to do their things. Valentine with the assist. The sub commentator thinks that Missino's favorite position is to be far, far away, pelting you with a lot of random lasers and projectiles. Of course, though, he also feels comfortable when he's got you in the corner. Belia down. Random Rock now has only two carriages versus Missino's three. Random Ronk does seem to be a little frustrated when it comes to Robo Fortune's projectiles. Missino does have great control of their aerial mobility, as well as great foresight into knowing exactly when and where to those, throw those projectiles. Ooh, excellent switch out to Parasol. It's not going to be enough, and good tag outs, and he is going to have to recover some health on random side. Oh, all right, the chip damage. Nope. Mega Miss, Mega Miss, you know, managed to find an in. Got a combo random there. Oh, he does not want to be sent to lose this. Ooh, Fuka down. And he's back in. Oh, we got a timeout. I didn't even notice the time. Mega Missino with the timeout. Wow. We haven't seen that yet tonight. We do have a Discord. Saved by the bell. Yeah, I didn't even notice the time, my goodness.
And we're on to round four. Miss you know, is still in this. But he can't lose this one either. Because if not, we'll never see a game five. Ah, oh, random rock though. He knows it. He can taste victory. His Valentine is down on Missy Nose's side. And he doing comp anything. Random, I feel like, now has a grudge against this Robo Fortune. After all of the hassle that they gave them last round with all the projectiles, this, is, this just must be so cathartic. Oh, and he dropped it. Could end up regretting that no does not spend the meter and come and here comes Felia. Mega Missy now has a little bit of a ways to go. It is now one well, one to three. Character wise. <laughs> yeah, the drop. They may have dropped the combo, but they didn't drop the touch of death. Good little combo reset there. Mega Missy, you know, desperately trying to find it in here. Yes. Finds it. Oh, but managed to stop the super. No! And Feely just plows on through. Oh, random takes it in a near perfect game. Woo! Ooh, those are the matches you live for, folks. GG's to both our competitors. My goodness. Let's take a moment to appreciate the excellent defense work from Missy you know, there. Like, he, he played a very smart, managed to stomp the super. Win for a level 3 super, but no. <laughs> Gregor just absolutely muscled his way through. Gonna be honest, this commentator has never seen that, and uh, I'm very impressed.